Hi class, another quick review of chapter 12 looking at the connection between upper airflow and weather forecasting. And so this map that we're looking at here is a really simplified upper air chart and it's showing the flow aloft in the position of the jet stream. So the jet stream is shown here by this pink shaded area and we're looking at a map of uh, springtime into early summer and we know as the temperatures warm then the jet stream moves up from 300 millibar to the 200 millibar height and this is a pretty common pattern over the North American continent for this time of year and in answering the questions that we're going to look at we're going to assume that this flow pattern is persisting for much of the spring and early summer. So what we have is a stagnant ridge over here, a high pressure upper air system ridge over the western U.S. and then a low, a trough, a stagnant trough over the eastern U.S. And what do we know about the position of these upper air flow patterns relative to our surface system? Well we know that we typically see surface low pressure systems developing to the east of upper air troughs. So if we have this trough here on the east, then we know that we're typically going to have a surface low pressure to the east of that. And so what that means for weather in the southeastern U.S. is they're going to get prolonged wetter than usual rainy weather. And it's going to be hanging around because we're going to see this pattern for a while. Now in the western U.S. we have the stagnant ridge and so we're going to see persistent, dry, stagnant conditions here in the West. And that's one of the things that we can get out of our upper air maps to help us see where we're going to typically see low pressure systems versus typically more dry, calmer conditions. All right, let me know if you have questions.